people have called me crazy, but I really enjoy uh, what I do with speed. I, I'm just fascinated with speed. I've done it in, in automobiles, uh, airplanes, boats, and it just so happens that uh, I had a fast motorcycle that was breaking records. The Miroc Dry Lake Bed in California. Four miles of flat, parched dirt. The ideal surface for speed. On July 27, 1997, with 11 world land speed records already in his back pocket, Ron Cook set out to break the 200 mile per hour barrier. It was all set up at the starting line and, and uh, the starter gave me the go ahead to go and uh, make my attempt at the 200 mile an hour record. Through five years and hundreds of high speed runs, Ron Cook had never had an accident. But all that was about to change. At the one mile mark, traveling 175 miles per hour, Ron Cook's motorcycle went out of control. Cook's split-second decision to jump off the motorcycle saved his life. Incredibly, he walked away. It's a 600-pound piece of machine, and I didn't want it to land on me. So I jumped off, and my right boot got caught, and I slammed into the ground. I said, oh, no, I'm in trouble now. It was such enormous heat and friction, it was actually burning through my leathers. At that point, Cook was able to flip his body onto his front side, allowing his protective helmet to absorb the brunt of the friction and figuring he'd ride it out. And uh, lo and behold, the motorcycle finally let me go, and uh, I ended up tumbling for a couple hundred feet. Uh, they say I was uh, drug about eight, 900 feet on my backside, and that was the first incident I've ever had in that motorcycle. But as fate would have it, not the last. Less than three weeks later, Ron Cook was once again out to capture the 200 mile per hour record. This time at the El Mirage Dry Lake Bed in California. After crossing the finish line at close to 200 miles per hour, Cook's motorcycle began to fishtail. Next thing I know, I was just pitched off and I was gone into a cloud of dust. Right her down, right her down, everybody I was move. like in a, uh, a washing machine being tumbled around and around and around and around. And I felt like it was gonna go forever. Miraculously, Cook survived again, but this time he didn't walk away. He suffered numerous injuries, including a broken leg. I'm gonna give up on the uh, land speed racing because I defied uh, death two times and the third one's probably gonna be the one that's gonna get me in, so. 